Can you guess where we are? If you're thinking monkey bars, bum, bum, you'd be incorrect. You may have guessed a gymnasium. Close, but not close enough. We're actually at a specially fitted out warehouse to safely learn about a craze that's taking over the sporting world. That's right, I'm talking about parkour. Parkour is a discipline that involves things like running, jumping, climbing, vaulting, and swinging. Looks like we're using the city like an obstacle course. The purpose behind it is to get from point A to point B as quickly and safely as we can. So it's a non-competitive discipline. What this means is that we're training for ourselves, we're trying to get ourselves stronger, fitter, faster, and try and develop that sort of ability and mental strength as well. So it's being used in a lot of movies, TV shows and stuff at the moment. It's sort of becoming popular. And we have this warehouse here where we teach people the basics, work up from the start, and get people sort of training on their own. TJ, your moves are pretty impressive. How'd you get into parkour? Like a lot of people, I saw a video online and then thought, that looks really fun, that looks really cool. So just kind of went outside, started working on it, started working it out but now we've got a full sort of training structure going on. Do you reckon you can show me some tricks? I reckon so. Got to get a warm-up first. Well, let's do it. To do parkour, you don't need any equipment. You just need to make sure that you wear loose and comfortable clothing. Now we've completed our warm-up, we're ready to learn some tricks. Right, so the first thing we're going to learn is how to land safely. Stand straight, feet pointing straight. Knees pointing straight, everything nice and straight, good posture. And then bend down a little bit and try and drop to the ground, landing on two feet and make as little noise as you can. What we're gonna do is try and balance on this railing here. So when we get up on the rail, try and have your foot nice and straight. So not across, nice and straight. Stand on the one leg and just try and get comfortable balancing here. Once you're comfortable, lean back, keep the weight on that foot and try and put your foot forward to the next spot. Another really good part of parkour is learning how to roll well. This is very important to protect your knees and just generally stay safe. We're gonna break it down into three bits. The end of the roll, the middle of the roll, and the start of the roll. Come up, tuck, ankle into the knee, twist your hips, and try and roll down to get that shot. Tuck, twist. That's it. But this one makes us look really silly. Trying to put our arm all the way through our legs <laughs> until our shoulder's already on the ground. And then we push over. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. That's what we want. So now moving to the start of the roll. Uh-huh. We're going to go from the hands already being on the ground. So we're not jumping or doing any landings. <laughs> awesome. Well done. But someone who has had his fair share of practice is Liam. He's been doing parkour for over two years now and he's even training with TJ here to become an instructor himself. Liam, what's your favourite thing about parkour? Um, I would have to say the community. Uh, it's really friendly, really nice atmosphere and uh, we all get along with each other. Yeah. And what do you get out of doing parkour? Uh, a lot of strength, uh, yeah, flexibility, um, coordination just to help out with everyday life. Absolutely. And why would you recommend other kids to get involved? It's, uh, it's really fun. It's a great way to spend your spare time. So if you want to get from A to B in a seriously fun way, maybe the challenge of parkour is the way to go. Whoa, did you see that? 